If you decide you'd like to insert a posture, range of motion, or x-ray analysis report from our sister software, um, Spine Tech Pro, which by the way is available for the free 30-day trial as well, it's at spinetechpro.us. So if you have a patient, in this case we're going to use uh, uh, this test patient here, Bobby. So we're going to um, open Bobby's chart. And let's say that in this case, here's her statement. She's just filled out uh, from the patient portal and it's currently inserted. And under objective today, I want to say she's doing better and I want to insert the statement from her x-ray. So I'm going to put in here um, a statement about her x-ray. So we'll go to template and uh, put that we did a diagnostic radiology study uh, today and it's going to be of her cervical spine so we'll click that and now I want to insert it's going to put all the information about that study right here into the into the note but I want to insert the report itself a picture of the analysis so we'll click analysis report and that's going to bring up all the studies that we have done uh, on Bobby's um, uh, neck posture range of motion so x-ray as well in this case there are no x-ray studies but I'm gonna go ahead and insert this cervical range of motion it could have just as easily be an x-ray report so we'll click that and then we come down here to the bottom to add analysis report and we click this so when we scroll scroll down you'll see that her report has been added to the chart now if I want to add a second report for comparison purposes let's say we want to go ahead and add this one well, I come down here and I click uh, add report again and now you'll see that I have both there as comparisons her initial uh, report and her follow-up report so I can add both and have them in, in the chart so if I'm, I'm going to jump ahead to print so if we were to go to print and then we look at uh, this analysis when it creates it I now have a report that's going to show all of her cervical range of motion studies compared to her initial range of motion studies. So that becomes part of her her file, part of her chart. It could also be for um, posture just as easily and um, that way you can uh, make it actually part of the patient's file. So if it's an x-ray study, same thing, you can insert that right into the patient's chart.